So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I'm actually using the brand new Anastasia palette. This is a collaboration with Alyssa Edwards. And I've gotten so many requests to do a look using this palette, so I thought I would do it for you guys today. And actually, this was the first time that I had ever tried the palette out. So this look was kind of like a first impressions. And I had to do a voiceover during the eye tutorial part, which is the, the main part. But because I had a few people at my house a little while ago, and there was like a meeting going on, and you were hearing everything in my camera. So I had to do the eye portion in a voiceover style. But anyway, I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts as I show you how to get this eye look as well. It's probably the easiest eye look you can create with this palette. I've been seeing so many looks online and I'm just blown away by all of them. Oh my gosh, the talent in the beauty community is crazy. So I wanted to do something that was colorful, but also really, really easy to recreate. I'm also using a couple of new things in today's video, but the majority of these products are things I really love and use all the time. But anyway, if if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're starting off with the eyes, of course. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Eye Primer. I had never tried this out before, but it came in the PR box with, I don't know why I'm doing both my eyes at the same time. I know, super weird. But it came in the PR box when I got the Alyssa Edwards palette, and I tried it out for the first time and I really, really liked it. So I'm taking the palette and I'm going in with the shade Unicorn Tribe and I'm gonna start building this color in my crease. I'm doing this little by little because this color is very, very pigmented, but it is pretty easy to blend out. So I'm just going back and forth with that shade and slowly building the color. Now I'm going in with the shade Texas Made, and this is very strange, but I'm gonna start building this color on the inner corners because I had a vision of what I wanted the look to look like in the end, but I started like backwards, I guess. So I'm just building this color up in the inner corners because I want the inner corners to be very, very pink, but I'm also dragging this color in my crease as well. I just really want this bright pink to pop on the inner corners, basically. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the shade Believe, and this color is so pigmented. You can see like I'm putting down my brush and it's like boom, super, super purple. But the thing with this color is since it is a pressed pigment, it doesn't blend as smoothly as a regular eyeshadow would. So as you can see here, like the more I build it on top, it is starting to get a little patchy. So I took a fluffy crease brush and I started to blend out the edges to see if I can get it to look a little bit more seamless and smooth. So I'm adding a little bit more of the purple in the crease. And then to fix like the patchiness, I went in with my finger, dipped it into the purple, and then applied it straight on top. Now I'm gonna go back into the shade Unicorn Tribe and I'm just gonna buff this in my crease just to make sure there are no harsh edges and everything is nice and blended. I'm gonna take the pink one more time and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did earlier but I'm gonna intensify the color a bit more and I'm gonna start to blend it on top of the purple and really just sandwich the two colors together because I want it to fade from like that hot pink to purple and yeah I kind of did it backwards but I'm just re-intensifying the pink re-intensifying I don't even know if that's a word but that's what we're doing And then for highlight, I'm taking headliner on Zebra Bone. Okay, as usual, I'm gonna start on the face before I finish up the eyes. And for primer, I'm gonna be going in with my Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. I haven't used this in a hot minute, and it's funny because I went to go grab my Farsali primer, and it's in a similar packaging, and I accidentally grabbed this instead, and I thought it was a sign. I was like, oh the universe must want me to use this. So, you know, I take my signs very seriously. I take my messages from the universe very seriously. And I really like this, even though it has glitter in it, like lots and lots of glitter, I don't find that it really shows through my foundation. And it's such a hydrating oil. 
Since there's so much going on on the eyes, I want my foundation to be pretty full coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. I'm going to apply this to my face. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna be mixing two concealers. This is actually a combo one of my subscribers told me about. Well, I feel like she's like more my friend now. She was telling me that she uses the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and then adds a pinch of the Tarte Creases Concealer. And so I wanted to try it out and I actually really, really like this combo, but I do a little bit more than just a pinch of this because my skin is very, very dry. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer and then a little bit of the Magic Away. For powder, I'm gonna use my trusty Dusty Thrive Cosmetics Loose Powder. And because we have a very oily primer on right now and I'm looking extra dewy, I'm not only gonna set my concealer, but I'm gonna set my T-zone and other areas that need to be set. <laughs> Okay, it's eye time. I'm gonna take the shade Brick Road and this is going to be my inner corner highlight. And I'm taking my time to slowly build this color up because it is very, very pigmented, but I kind of want it to fade into the pink nicely. And I like the little orange it creates like in the inner corners. You can't really see the orange that much, but it's there. It's like subtle, but it's there and I like it. I'm gonna tight line with my Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner in black. And then on my waterline, I'm gonna use this blue Marc Jacobs eyeliner, which isn't my favorite. I was looking for the other blue eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. This is the shimmery version. The matte one is definitely better, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I'm taking the deep blue, it's called Dream It, and I'm buffing this color on my lower lash line. I'm really smoking it out. And I love that this color is actually a little bit deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it ended up being like a nice deep navy, and I really, really like it. So I'm taking my ColourPop pigment in the shade The Fish, because I thought it looked weird how the yellow faded into the blue, like it didn't look seamless. I felt like there was just something missing. I needed a color in between those two colors. So I thought the fish pigment was perfect. Okay, so I feel like adding the fish pigment just gave it a little bit more magic and I really like that everything is super matte and the only thing that's like shimmery is my lower lash line right here. So I really love that. I feel like it tied it all together. Really quickly, I'm gonna take my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and I'm gonna apply this to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with my Christina Wispies that I got online and I'll be right back. I feel like I'm being punked. I feel like the YouTube gods are messing with me. I'm gonna lose it. So, I was in the middle of filming, as you can see, my bronzer's on, my eyes are done, and my memory card took a shit on me, and a bunch of files were corrupted. So the last thing I filmed, you guys couldn't see because that file was corrupted, and now I'm putting the rest of the files into my computer to see if I can save anything that I just filmed. This video might not even make it to the internet. This is literally the second memory card who gives up on me. What is happening? What is going on? Okay, breathe. Positive thoughts. We can get through this, it's fine. Okay, I didn't go with those other falsies I was gonna put on because I realized when I put them on, it was kind of covering all of my eyeshadow because those falsies are really long. So I went in with my classic Demi Wispies and then I was kind of feeling like and my fish pigment was like hiding between my lashes. So I applied a little bit more of the fish underneath my eyes, which, I recorded, but. And then I went in with my Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200. It's my Equal Tools brush. Then my camera shut off, and when I turned it back on, it said cannot play back video or like playback error. I don't know. But it meant that the clip I was just filming was gone. I'm gonna hope and pray that the four files that were corrupted were nothing special or nothing too important.
For highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Dreamscape. I always wanna say Dreamscapade. But I'm gonna take the ColourPop highlight and I'm actually gonna apply it before my blush. And I love this highlight, but it is very, very white. Like, it is intense, but very light. I, I love this highlight. And I realize I never talk about this highlight. It's one of the newer ones to me. Like, I just recently started using it. I also really, really love Padded Down. I have, like, my highlights in here. Actually, I'm going to take Padded Down because this might be a little bit too fair for me at the moment. And this one will just warm it up a little bit. We're going really intense on our highlight today because, you know, we're intense today. For blush, I'm actually going to be taking one of the new Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duos. You have a matte and a shimmer blush in these. And these blushes are so creamy and buttery, so easy to blend, and they're really, really yummy, and I love mixing them. I like wearing them on their own. I like these duos a lot. And I like this packaging. I like that it's cream and it's not like white. I don't know, it's kind of like vintage to me. I like it. So I don't know which shade to use. Should I use this one? I think so. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna take the mauve one, and I'm gonna go back and forth with these two uh, blushes. I love this color. See how adding the blush after the highlight just meshes them so well together? Love it. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna try to go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna go in with Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. It's one of their liquid catsuit lipsticks. Like, yeah, I would normally go in with a nude lip, of course. That scared the shiz out of me. My phone just started doing that. I don't know where. Weird. Normally, I would go in with a nude lip, sure, of course, but I don't hate this. Before I let my hair loose, I'm going to take this brand new spray I just got in the mail. This is from Tarte, and it is their Stay Spray. It's their setting spray. Ooh. Wait, that is a super fine mist. I thought, I thought, I thought because it was in this packaging that it was gonna be like the mist on the Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh my God, but this one's even better. Oh, and it smells really good actually. Wait, that smells exactly like Febreze. Oh my God, like literally. Mmm, Febreze me. It kind of resembles the All Nighter setting spray actually, like in terms of how it makes my face feel. So it definitely melted all the powders down and my skin looks really nice. I think I like it. And my skin feels tight, but not too tight. And I sprayed a lot of this. And actually it doesn't feel too tight. I like it. I like this feeling. Okay, I guess that completes this video. Let me take my hair down. This was my look using the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia palette. This palette is absolutely amazing. Every single time I would put down an eyeshadow, I was blown away by how pigmented each eyeshadow was and because they are so pigmented you do have to be a little bit careful with them and not pack on too much in one spot like you saw with the purple shade on my lid you don't want to keep packing on the pigment on the same spot because it will get a little bit patchy and honestly these eyeshadows don't really need that much building I think it's amazing and I love the fact that you get really bold shades but also a few everyday wearable ones as well so this honestly can be your all-around palette if you're into rainbow looks but you can use this on a daily basis as well I like it I like that that is my review on this palette is good. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this whole video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope it inspired you to pull out some of your colorful eyeshadows and play around with them some more because I feel like this just lit a spark in me that I forgot was there. Like I just want to play around with lots of color and I feel like I will. But anyway guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!